Welcome to Selmac Machinery's Knowledge Base. Today we're going to teach you how to set the laser guards on your press plate. Your top tooling comes in several heights depending on the type of fold that you're doing. 35 degrees, 90 degrees, 88 degrees and different lengths so that you can achieve the folds required. To release this tooling and remove it some press brakes just have two allen keys. Some have fast opening systems. Um, depending on your machine and your model, it'll be different, probably. But anyway, you undo these all the way along the machine and then basically lift the laser guard up, allowing the tooling to come out. The side fence will need to be undone and folded open. After undoing all the tooling, we remove it, clean the new tooling to go in, slide it all the way in, pushing the tooling up left and right, tighten the tooling, and then basically once the tooling's in, you'll need one of these. This comes with every machine supplied by Selmac Machinery. It basically is a laser alignment tool. The point at the bottom of the tool pictured on the instrument here must be aligned with the point on the top tool. Okay so we fitted the laser alignment tool we now turn the ACAS to number one. As you can see we have a red Heaney pointing on the, the new laser alignment tool. This was obviously switched on when we turned to key position number one on the ACAS. Now, this round circle of the um, Heaney should be in line with this round circle on the tool. We have a, a linear rail. There's a 17 mil bolt. You'll need a 17 mil spanner. And that will allow this to be adjusted up and down. Basically, we're gonna adjust it until the red Heaney is in line with the red circle on the alignment tool. This left hand column is now aligned with the laser tool. We now need to align this left hand column with the right hand column, but first of all, obviously, we need to remove the laser alignment tool. Alignment now is to align the red Heaney over the two small holes there and the other Heaney over the small hole there. So basically, with a 17mm spanner, again, we undo and adjust until we've got them in line inside the circles. We then lock up the 17mm spanner and this is now aligned. Also what I'd like to point out is obviously you don't have to pull the tooling out the left hand side of the machine, you can pull it out the right hand side as well. Both sides can be opened both sides can be used to remove the two. These two are the gate switches and obviously once we've opened the gate this has let the Feisler know that the machine is now unsafe and basically puts the machine into slow speed. One thing you must always remember to do when you've finished aligning the tuning is turn a cast position to zero otherwise the machine will only run in slow speed. <laughs> 